welcome to linux fork my name is chandan and today we are going to learn how we can extend slash drive in an in, in lvm partition okay so in previous video uh, i have explained how we can extend slash drive that is normal partition is that okay normal li uh, linux partition here the condition it's it is a lvm partition so whatever the file system is in this uh, linux it's lvm okay so what are the uh, benefit for lvm if you don't know then I, I want to explain the things here so lvm give you uh, some fl flexibility like you can extend the disk you can create the multiple drive in it and uh, you can create attach multiple drive and create a group of the pool and through that you can distribute all the uh, sizes in different different uh, file system like slash booked slash uh, mnt whatever the drive you want to extend or you want to increase okay decrease so you can manage so it's giving the flexibility it's depend upon the system how it's a booted okay how it's configured okay so here i am going to give you uh, this overview and uh, one advantage i am uh, I, I will give in the end of the one tip i will give what are the advantage point for using the lvm and uh, what we are going to do on this azure cloud okay so okay let's uh, start this so this this is a fresh pm okay so just i am going to copy the uh, public ip of the pm i am going to uh, generate this new session for this uh, okay for login just open i am giving username kiosk okay i'm passing password okay so now we are in vm so just i am increasing the font i'm putting it uh, 16 okay now here we will perform uh, d hyphen h so what will it give you as we can see right so uh, this this and uh, one more command is very helpful lsblk okay list block so what uh, here we can see this this part you can see they have created all the partition separately like temp they have given 2 gb they have given usr they have given 10 gb so uh, main partition is sta and through the sta all they have created lvm partitions and they have mounted all the <coughs> different different uh, L, uh, logical volume to the uh, linux file system you can see they have given 8 gb to the slash okay so here we what we are uh, we are going to do here actually uh, and uh, one notification or one information just i want to give you guys so uh, if you are in new on my channel uh, please like share and subscribe this channel okay so it will give uh, I mean little bit motivation so I will create next video whatever the uh, learning I have done whatever the experiment I have performed with the Azure cloud okay so <coughs> so please subscribe this channel okay and uh, uh, okay uh, please subscribe now uh, let's uh, go to the topic okay so here we can see the things right so it is lvm partition okay like pv is pvs command display you okay so first of all you should be root when you perform going to perform this command or any administrative command or you can use sudo i uh, i recommend you always use sudo command 
but here I am doing the testing but for the production you always uh, I suggest you uh, go with the sudo ok so let's uh, uh, do the same command perform pvs ok so it will display you uh, physical volumes so our physical volume is sta2 ok and through that we have created uh, vg group that is root vg ok <coughs> pv size is this much and free size is this ok so uh, space is available ok and vg is also one of the helpful command when you want to analyze the things so here is the name of the vg root vg ok and this is pv ok this is pv part this is vg part and here also it is showing same partition is free space ok and uh, last lv s ok lv s so it, it will show you logical volumes ok so as we can see lv these are the LVM partition and create a BG is this root BG and all the sizes is there ok here they have <coughs> other things uh, I am not going it's not important so that is the thing so now the now come to the point where we are going to operate the things so here I am going to operate so as we can see suppose you guys this drive getting fold means because it's a 7 gb right some application generating the log some lot of things is going to a store in slash drive okay so suppose it's getting full filled okay it's a uh, completely 100 percent or like 99 percent okay so there is some chances it's uh, going to stop your vm or maybe it will automatically reboot a crisis may be happened so that is a chances if your disk is getting full even you are not able to log in this vm if disk getting full okay now now the things is here it's only showing 7.3 or it's a sign only 7.8 gb for the root now we need to increase this drive okay so here how we can do this one one thing in vg we already have seen that there is some space is already very 31 gb right now that that we can in increase uh, directly but uh, here what i am going to do i am going to attach a data disk and through that data disk we are going to attach increase or extend this last drive so let's do this go to the disk and attach if data disk uh, already is there then you can attach through here if not create a data disk ok how give the name data disk ok size any anything you can according to your required uh, requirement I am going to give here only 32 GB it's enough for me ok ok you can discard previous one ok I am putting read write and save it ok go to the terminal and perform ls vlk ok so it will list the block so as we can see we, uh, we have attached 32 gb drive as a data disk ok now now we are going to increase the slash drive ok so what we, we need to do here first thing first and most important thing first we need to create it as a pv so we will be going to pv create command ok so i have already uh, noted down that command so just i am going to copy 
and paste this command here okay pv create and whatever the partition you have okay so here hdc is the partition i am creating the pv so pv is done now first of all pv created now find to be noted okay just check that vg what is the name for the vg now you need to extend the vg part okay so check the name of the vg and extend that vg okay according to that in your case it may be different because it's uh, not like same thing okay so note down what is the name of the vg so here i am saying that root vg so i am giving root vg and the partition which you want to extend okay dev hdc so vg successfully extended now uh, previously it's a showing only you can see 31 gb now perform same command pgs you can see it's extended right it's now showing 63 gb and this size also extended because it's coming from here only okay now now pg in pg pool already the size is increased okay now what we need to do the next step is we are going to increase this slash drive directly or you can perform also one of the command lpg display it will also give one uh, very good vg display so in vg display as we can see allocated part is that one okay and free part you can see 63 okay now we are going to increase that slash drive if you check slash drive now only it's a showing 7.3 or 7.8 gb is there now how we can do this so there is one command for lvm exchange i'm just copying and giving the things okay so lb exchange hyphen r l 100 plus 100 percent free dev here the vg vg part is root vg and lb part is root lb you can see i if you are not able to understand just uh, put that if you are not able to understand this command ls plk perform and what is the root partition you can see root lb which is the here what root vg root lv so i'm just giving that part okay just copy that uh, command which we have cancelled just put that and run okay so this command is going to extend your slash drive now now just put that uh, fire that command da-h you can see this drive extended till 71 gb and the tips of this uh, tutorial or this uh, technical is that p did this operation on the fly p don't require any downtime for this this it's not going to delete your data okay but I recommend always recommend before performing this this types of operation in production environment you have to test it first in test environment and then go for the production operation because sometime what happen no? even you are doing the things right but sometime because of uh, environment or some some application issue that wise uh, maybe uh, there is corruption will come but it's a uh, very clear if you are following if the scenario is same it will going to uh, perform the it's going to give you result uh, same thing 
okay same result but it's a uh, better to perform in test environment first then go for the protection it's my recommendation and i'm doing these things uh, always i'm doing these things actually first time in performing in test environment then i'm going with the production that is my working style okay and uh, learning style <coughs> so that's all in this video and uh, if you like uh, if it is informative for you please like my video and uh, please subscribe this channel okay okay and thank you friends for watching my video that's all in this video in next part uh, i will give you little bit tricky inf uh, uh, tricky knowledge about this partition part okay so there is one a very crucial part okay if you miss that uh, your OS is going to corrupt so the, that scenario very different I am going to uh, explain you in next class on next uh, lecture so oh, what uh, scenario just I am giving a little bit overview regarding that so here uh, what i did i have added a data disk and then we have extended that slash drive suppose that we are going to extend this part main partition os partition like here uh, we are seeing that it's a uh, only 64 gb huh? right and i am putting this size till uh, like 128 gb then how we can extend that partition that is very tricky I am going to explain in next class. Thank you for watching this video.